Hi, I'm Nia Tran and I'm a coach here at East Bay Badminton Association. I'm going to talk about proper grips work for the sport. This would be the proper forehand grip. As you can see, the racket is pointing downwards rather than flat. And this would be the proper backhand grip with my thumb on the flat end of the racket. To start, if you're right-handed, put your right hand on the racket face. And from there, slide the racket down until you hit the grip. Close it with the first three fingers. Put your thumb above the middle finger and your hand should now form a V with the racket grip. It's really similar to shaking somebody's hand as you're holding this racket right now. So with the forehand grip, it allows you to get into proper position as you turn out the racket and swing with your wrists without anything blocking or hurting your wrist. To do the backhand grip, all you have to do is start with the forehand grip and switch it by putting the pointing finger down and the thumb on the flat end of your racket. This gives you a nice backhand push, but it wouldn't do you any good for overhead backhand shots. So for the backhand grips, all you have to do is push with your thumb out with your racket facing forward. The thumb will help you push the shots forward and give you power at a very, very close space. For an overhead backhand grip, you'll have to hold your thumb on the groove that's unangled to your grip right here. By holding it here, it does two purposes. The first, it allows you to swing at full power without having any restrictions on your wrist, and it gives you a directional choice. You can hit straight, or cross a lot easier than had you used any other grip with your racket. So we're gonna talk about the forehand overhead shot and the mechanics of it. To start off, you must have your racket up with your elbow slightly bent with the other arm in front. As you're swinging the shot, make sure to pivot your body and extend your hand first without, bend, without straightening out your elbow. The last second, you must make sure to flick your wrist and turn out the racket head, which is very important. You won't